there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I have been getting this question quite a bit. I, not, I don't wanna say lately, it's been quite a bit since I've ever even started promoting Delta 8, and it's why do you even promote this thing and why do you even like it? And today, I'm gonna tell you my top six because I couldn't, I couldn't reduce it down to five. But six reasons why I absolutely adore, love, and I, I guess like heavily promote Delta 8. And in the process of doing so, we're going to take some of the brand new Delta 8 hard candies from 86 Brand. These literally launched today. <laughs> today that I'm filming, and I hope that I can get this posted before they sell out. It's probably the cheapest thing that's available on their entire website, and you can pick them up in two different flavors. We have a root beer hard candy as well as a peach hard candy. I just, I imagine that this one's gonna be freaking fantastic. Wait a minute, I actually have a third thing that they just, they launched it like maybe a month ago, but I still wanna take one today. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Okay, I got it, but I also got um, a little snack to go with it. They also just released these caramel chews. All of these, no, 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 wait a minute. This is 50 milligrams each. So that that's gonna kick our butts. These ones are 25 milligrams each. I'm gonna start with the root beer and the number one reason why I heavily promote Delta 8, stress relief. I have not found stress relief in literally any other product that I have ever tried that can match the amount of stress relief that I can get from Delta 8. And that is a widely reported amazing side effect of consuming Delta 8 tetrahydrocannabinol. Oh, it's like rat wrapped in it's wrapped in its own like little candy wrapper. I was kind of expecting it to be shaped like a barrel like the um, candies. It's probably trademarked. You're probably not allowed to make a root beer flavored candy in a barrel shape. I learned just yesterday that you can trademark colors like um T-Mobile trademarked the magenta that they use specifically in telecommunication spaces. Verizon can't just start making ads with that magenta because it would confuse consumers as to what brand was being promoted. Did you know that? I did not know that. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. On the site, it does say to let it kind of like rest on your tongue for maximum absorbency. So we'll, we'll do that too. <laughs> it is a hard candy and it does taste just like a root beer barrel. It's a large piece of candy, so I kind of feel rude talking to you. I feel like one of the farmers back in my hometown with their um, tobacco spit loogie, just like chilling in their mouth. Fucking gross, man. Okay, now this tastes delicious. I just feel rude talking. I'm gonna suck it away real quick. I can't even chew it. I can't get it to break. It's also because I'm heavily um, afraid of breaking any of my cavity fillings because I grind my teeth and I have to go to the dentist and get my... Um, my porcelain fillings like fixed all the time so I'm like afraid to chew on it. I does not feel like it's getting smaller. Uh -uh, it's lasting forever. It is a solid piece of candy. Um, okay, hang on. Let me finish this and we can keep talking. That was more delicious than I expected. Kind of very excited about that. I don't, I have the slightest like 2% of an aftertaste in my mouth that I think would very easily wash away with a little bit of ice water. Mmm. Yeah. I could still taste the root beer, but I don't, I don't have that, like, that's the reason why I don't consume a lot of edibles, that I love the effects of them, but, and I love the taste of them, but the aftertaste, if I can wake up in the middle of the night and still taste it, I just, I don't, I don't take them, I tend to avoid them, so, yeah, this is one that I can see myself actually consuming a lot. As far as stress relief goes, I think everybody deals with some stress in their life. It's very natural to have things that come in and out of your life that would cause you some form of stress. Stress can literally wreak havoc on your body. It's known to be one of the absolute worst things for your entire body. It can cause you to go gray. It can cause infertility, weight gain, or incredible weight loss. The amount of stress that everybody went through during the pandemic being so financially unstable and just being concerned about the world and everybody around us caused a massive influx in anxiety and depression cases across the board, across the entire world. So so stress reduction, if you find something that works for you, eating Delta 8 candy is potentially one of the healthiest things you can do for yourself. It's, I'm joking, but I'm kind of not joking. <laughs> Which I guess then leads into number two, and that it is an amazing cannabinoid for boosting your mood. If you are having a garbage day, if you 
you are just in that mood, you woke up in a funk, you're going to bed and you're like pissed off about how the day went or you're already mad about something for the next day, take some Delta 8. It will boost your mood and pull you out of that. It'll clear the fogginess around you. Even if you're not in a funk and you need to get yourself to like more of a hype level, like whenever I go out with my friends, I'm I'm naturally a bit of an introvert, but I need to boost my mood and kind of come out of my shell a little bit. That's Delta 8. Number three is a boost in your appetite. Now this can be seen as a pro or a con. I see it as a con a lot of the times because I like to consume Delta 8 throughout the day and I don't want to be hungry throughout the entire day. However, I have an absolutely garbage appetite and unless I consume Delta A, I really just have an aversion to food altogether. I kind of don't give a shit about food. I understand that it is for nutrition. I hate making it. I hate buying it. I hate cleaning it up. I hate having to stock it. I hate having to rotate it. I don't like food. I also don't eat very much. Like I, I get full very quickly. I think that I just have a very small stomach. I get, I will eat until I feel full, but not past the point of feeling full. That is something that I used to do and I was overweight. And now I'm at like a very healthy BMI for me, my height and my size, but I don't like to eat. And if I don't eat, I will drop below and I'll be at an unhealthy low weight. So I do have to force myself to eat sometimes. Um, and Delta 8 definitely comes into play for that. Also, this is just giving me like classic candy vibes, pulling it out of like this uh, wax paper. But this is the little caramel. It's not little. It's a honking thing. It's 50 milligrams per chew. Really honestly, this would be easy enough to like uh, divide up. So I'm just gonna take half of that. <laughs> Another way that I use it um, in relation to my appetite is if my husband is making something that's just gonna be the bomb.com for dinner um, or if I'm going out to a really nice restaurant. Um, we love to go on these monthly date nights with our friends and it's like a fancy restaurant and they're kind of expensive and you get brought like the chef is going to tell you what you're going to eat and you're just going to get like brought plate after plate. Well, I need to be able to consume plate after plate and it's, I need to make it worth my money. So I take Delta 8 before going it makes the experience absolutely magical. I'm gonna put this caramel on top of this slice of an apple because it's the fall and why the hell wouldn't I do that? Oh, I love caramel apples. Did you know, two things, sidetrack. Did you know that I could not find caramel apple suckers anywhere in stores this year, period? None, nowhere, no store that I checked had caramel apple suckers. Caramel apple sucker. That's devastating to me. Did they get rid of them? I'm concerned. Multiple trunk or treats. I'm talking like we had probably 20 pounds of candy, not a single caramel apple sucker. That's devastating to me. Did they get rid of them? I'm concerned. I really want to eat the other half of that because that was really fucking good. Um, let me take a nibble on its own. It tastes, it's it's just like caramel. It's amazing. It's really good. It's really fucking good. Like it's, it's a legit caramel. It doesn't have Delta 8 taste to it. What was the number two thing I was gonna, oh, I remember. Okay, so <laughs> the other, I digress. You know how easy it is to make caramel? You literally take a can of sweetened condensed milk and you boil it for like 45 minutes. And when you crack the top off of it and you pull it open, it's caramel, you have caramel. Other pros definitely would be if you're going through some sort of treatment or a side effect of a medication that you take, which is also a concern of mine, um, reduces your appetite to the point where you have like a food aversion. Delta 8 has the potential of helping you with that and I highly suggest giving it a try because I know that like food, food is your body's nourishment. You need to make sure that you're taking care of your body and if you're not able to do that properly, even for a day, I start to feel the effects of it. By if I, Even if I don't consume enough water by midday, I can tell. Next up is the peach one. Let me tell you the ingredients real quick of these. Sugar, corn syrup, vinegar, natural peach flavor, coconut oil, corn, corn starch, corn. I love corn. Tart and sour flavor, natural orange food coloring, hemp derived, delta 8, tetrahydrocannabinol distillate. It could be considered vegan, gluten free, nut free, soy free, milk free, all of those. It also came in a little candy pouch. You do get one in a package here, and I think I told you it's 25 milligrams of uh, Delta 8. So reason number four as to why I heavily promote and absolutely love Delta 8 products is its accessibility, because I find accessibility to be incredibly, incredibly important. Right now, um, a lot of people across the entire United States is using regular old cannabis, Delta 9 cannabis, for medical reasons, obviously also recreational, but for medical reasons, there's a 
lot of people that need to use it. Well, there's also a lot of states that have not legalized. Still more than 50% of the United States has not made it recreationally legal. And even states that are legal may not have the accessibility. When it very first became legal in Michigan, we had to pay hundreds of dollars in order to get a med card in order to be able to purchase anything. And you still pay like about $120 in my state to get um, the card, which is not in a lot of people's budgets. That's to me, that's very expensive. You get this card, it does expire over time, so you're going to need to re up it. Um, but you may not live in an area that uh, has dispensaries because even though my state has legalized it, there are cities and counties that have made it not legal to be sold within that city or like kind of like a dry city or a dry county. So the accessibility just it isn't there for everybody. So if you look at this map of the United States and you see where Delta 9 is legalized, and then you look at this map over here of the United States where Delta 8 is legalized, you may notice something. Every single state where Delta 9 is not legal, it is legal for Delta 8, with the exception of Idaho. Idaho does not allow anything. They do not believe in having fun while picking potatoes at all. They don't allow like fucking anything in Idaho. Apparently not even hemp derived Delta 9. Regular Delta 9 is illegal, Delta 8 is illegal, Delta 10 is illegal. I think you can get HHC and THCO, which are also two other cannabinoids that are sold um, from 86, but, the, but that's even still like a little bit of a gray area in Idaho. Everywhere else though, the accessibility, amazing. If you can't get your hands on Delta 9, then you can get your hands on Delta 8 and or vice versa. So you have a solution to a medical problem for a whole community of people. And that is incredibly important to me. Also recreationally, Delta 8 is fucking fun. It's fun. It's, it, to me, it's very clear headed, happy, elevated. It is exactly what I want sativa to be for me. And if I wanna take more of it and go to sleep, then I can. Like, it is just, it's amazing recreationally, it's amazing medically. How much more do I have to say to convince you all to try Delta 8 if you are legally allowed to purchase it and have it shipped to your state? I wanted to smell it because I assumed it was gonna smell like peaches. It doesn't smell like anything. Mm, it's a juicy peach. I love peach anything. This does have a little bit more of a Delta 8 taste to it, actually. It's not a whole lot of the Delta 8 taste. It's not like turning me off to it or too overwhelming of a taste, making me want to spit it out or anything like that. But the root beer, I think, just hid that flavor a lot more. Root beer has like that weird kind of like smoky without being smoky taste to it. Oh, oh my God, I got to bite this one. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so glad that it helps with pain. That was the one thing that I was gonna say was gonna be my bonus thing or is that it helps with pain. <laughs> Now I'm bleeding. Now my cheek is bleeding. Okay, moving on to the fifth reason why you should try it. Nausea. Oh my gosh, do you ever get frequent nausea? Do you have any reason in which you might get frequent nausea? One of my medications does give me that and upset stomach quite frequently. I also just got over COVID and for two solid weeks, I was just constantly nauseous and I could not get anything else to even touch it. I didn't want to feel high even remotely, but the nausea just hung on for so long and the only thing that I could get to curb it was Delta 8. So I was like hitting a Delta 8 vape pen every once in a while just to like be able to not feel like constantly puking. So side effects from medications, side effects from uh, an illness, from treatments that you may be going through. A lot of people use it to treat hangovers because it does help with pain so much, but then it also helps with that nausea and that, you know, just that feeling that you want everything to get out of your entire body. So a lot of people use it for that. I, I've not actually tried that because I don't, I, I drink. I just, I don't drink to that level because I know how terrible it makes me feel. I haven't tried it for a hangover, but motion sickness, if that is a thing that you get, Delta 8, holy hell is amazing. We brought Delta 8 to Disney and I actually was able to ride rides. Like I can't even spin. If I spin one time, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit off. If I spin like two or three times, I am sweating and ready to puke. So like being able to actually go to Disney and experience it in full, to be able to ride in shuttle buses or planes, to be able to be a passenger in a vehicle that I'm not driving and not get motion sick. Like all of that is, it's so important to me to to be able to live my life exactly the way that I intend to without nausea, without just like constantly feeling pain, reducing my stress, elevating my mood. I honestly, I don't know what's not to love. And then that brings us, I guess, to the very last reason 
Number six, sleep. I'll tell you the medication that I'm on and it will make more sense for you. I take Adderall every once in a while, an incredibly low dose and incredibly frequently because the side effects are too hard for me to manage. I can't deal with the nausea, the loss in appetite, the increase of anxiety, and especially the sleeplessness. Like you just get so in insomnia ridden. I don't think that it's truly like to the level of insomnia, but I kind of feel like it is. I can stay up all night long if I take Adderall. So I I have to be able to combat that in order to be a healthy human, in order to be an adult that takes care of a family the next day, an adult that has a job, an adult that has to adult. I have to be able to sleep. And when I need to sleep, I rely on cannabinoids. Delta 8 is an amazing one because it does induce like a relaxation effect. I have to take it in higher doses in order to feel that way. In lower doses, I still feel very energized, clear-headed, focused, happy, giggly, kind of a, a, a bit more outgoing, but like once I take, and I have a, I definitely have a tolerance to it. I have a hell of a tolerance to Delta 8. I've been taking it every single day, and you build up a tolerance to Delta 8 faster than you do Delta 9, but I've been taking it damn near every single day for now like two years maybe, somewhere around that. Under 50 milligrams is getting me nice and bubbly and happy and energized, and anything above 50 milligrams will get me relaxed, and if I lay down, like I can actually go to sleep with that. I can get everything to just turn off and actually fall asleep. Okay, so those are my six reasons. A lot of the people that have questioned me about it in the comments or DMs on Instagram um, have said more so that they're concerned that it's synthetic than anything else. Like that seems to be the number one thing. Well, there's a lot of things that are synthetic. Tylenol is synthetic and can cause liver damage. You can overdose on it very easily and it can cause a lot more issues than just those two things, death and, and liver failure. But yet we trust it and we rely on it. And I'm not saying you should just blindly trust and rely on something, but I do want you to actually do your research. Just because somebody says that something's all natural doesn't mean that it's good for you. Arsenic is not good for you. In my experience, there's some ways to tell if a brand is any good whatsoever. First of all, are their lab results very easy to find on their website? For 86 brand, absolutely they are. Um, second of all, if you type them in Google and type in like 86 brand reviews, what kinds of reviews are you seeing? Reddit is a brutally honest place for it. They fucking love 86 brand. Um, obviously, everything that I've ever tried, I've absolutely loved. I also have the COAs for the distillate um, from 86 brand being tested for safety as well as um, for their cannabinoid profile and their terpene profile and all of that. So I've seen that, I trust it. And then another giant context clue for me is how the packaging looks. If it is something that looks like your neighbor made it and printed it in their garage, I probably wouldn't trust it at all. I'm not saying that this is a reason why you should be trusting it, but I am saying that if the brand looks like trash, I would assume that it is trash. If it doesn't look like trash, I would continue looking into it and making sure that it is a brand that you do wanna support and that you are comfortable with putting in your body. Delta 8 is derived from CBD and it does go through an extraction process. A lot of things go through an extraction process in order to get an end result, such as a whole lot of concentrates like dabs. And they have also been proven safe. So for me, Oh my god, my, I was trying to explain. So for me, um, okay, my husband just texted me, I ordered you some lunch, thought it would go good with your recording schedule today, because he knows that I'm sitting here eating Delta A edibles. How? <laughs> and it's Chipotle. It's perfect. He knows it's going to kick in. It's 12.55. He's sending me lunch to kick in fucking phenomenal. Okay, so I do definitely encourage you to do your own research. I want you to feel good about the things that you put in your body. These are fantastic though. The root beer was amazing. The peach was amazing. The caramels were amazing. If you're looking at getting a stocking stuffer for somebody, a little a vape pen. Oh my god, that's what I should probably, I should make little tiny stockings and put like a little vape pen and like some edibles and stuff in it. That would be cute. I'm gonna do that for all the adults in the family because we don't really hand out gifts. We do the Christmas party here. This will be the second annual. We just started that last year. But um, I think I'm gonna do a white elephant and then I think I'm gonna do the little stockings for the adults as well because that would be fun. Okay, new arrivals. THCO gummies, the, the Delta 8 gummies, the Rice crispy Treats, the THCO pre-rolls. Air fresheners, was, they're not listed, but they have air fresheners listed on their website under new arrivals, and I'm wondering if that's gonna be the next thing 
that comes out. What could that possibly do? Their stuff smells amazing. It's all amazing flavors and stuff. I'm gonna end up ordering too much if I stay on the site. I'm not making the stockings yet. I should probably still, no, okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> all right, I love you all so damn much. I hope that that was helpful in the, I guess the reasoning why I would promote such a product and so heavily. I've also been asked a whole bunch of times why I don't like promote Delta 9 stuff that much. Like hemp derived Delta 9, absolutely yes. Um, the reason why I don't is is kind of twofold. For one, uh, YouTube definitely has a problem with any sort. They have a problem with this, but they super have a problem with like anything dispensary. I got a warning on my channel for doing an unbagging of a dispensary haul, and I got a strike on my channel for panning the inside of a dispensary for two seconds in a video. So I kind of can't show like dispensary grade stuff safely. Can't show this shit safely either. Also, so much cannabis is regionalized that if I was to show you the things that I could get here in Michigan, I can almost guarantee, unless it's one of the ones that we all know about and like what's the fun in, in reviewing OG Kush when everybody knows OG Kush and everybody knows Blue Dream and stuff like there's there's not enough um, consistency across the board and I don't want it to be that way because people make their own strains like companies are coming out with their new hybrids and stuff all the time coming up with their own names for it could have multiple names for the same hybrid but it's just regionalized across different regions it doesn't really makes sense, I guess, for me to to show that on YouTube. Now, in my day-to-day -day life, that is my primary way of consumption, is regular dispensary Delta 9. That's basically all of my flour, all of my dabs. I don't really mess with anything else except for dispensary grade Delta 9 for both of those, and um, probably 50% of my gummies and nearly 50% or more of my vapes. Like, like, I do heavily consume dispensary grade stuff, but this stuff is accessible and it helps with so many things as we talked about in this video that it's, I, I think that it's still very important to show the people, to show all of you. If you are still here through all of this chatting, God, I love you. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out for a while. Um, I hope that your day is amazing. And uh, if you are still here and you're not subscribed, if you think that you are subscribed, you should double check because I've had quite a few people tell me that they thought that they were. And I think it's because I had a channel that was deleted in May, and then you started seeing me again but didn't realize that this is an entirely new channel, please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. It does help an absolute ton. It's what's keeping the dream alive. I appreciate it a whole of a lot. I'm looking forward to showing you what they have next, what 86 Brand has next, but it might even be air fresheners. I don't know. Okay, that's it. Huge shout out to all of my patrons for making videos like this possible. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Love you all so damn much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.